counseling and prayers are much needed for Asheville Festival attendees who remain hospitalized. Among them, a nine-year-old Houston boy who was trampled. Ezra Blount is on a ventilator at Texas Children's Hospital. Our Xavier Walton is at the Med Center. He's been talking with the family. And what do they have to say, Xavier? Well, Len, they are asking everyone to simply pray for Ezra, that nine-year-old here at Texas Children's, where he has been since Friday. And I'll tell you what, tonight we're learning more about this little boy who is fighting to just stay alive. Nine-year-old Ezra Blunt loves to sing and dance. His aunt says he's a performer. His favorite rapper, Travis Scott. These are photos from Friday at Astro World Music Fest before the concert became chaotic. Ezra's dad describing what happened on his GoFundMe page. I had my son on my shoulders. I began to be crushed until I couldn't breathe. I passed out and I woke up. My son was gone. My wife got on the telephone and, and called around to every hospital until we located him. And uh, when we located him, uh, he was listed as a John Doe. Ezra was taken to Texas Children's, put on a ventilator, and in a medically induced coma. As granddad to Ezra and daddy to Tristan, I'm angry because this has altered our family. As Ezra fights for his life in this Houston hospital, well-renowned attorney Ben Crump vowing to fight for him and the family in wake of what happened, his team visiting the site of Friday's tragic scene. In the meantime, the family has started this GoFundMe page and so far raising more than $20,000 and counting. His aunt saying Ezra is outgoing and bold and right now keeping the family together. Now that you've heard that news report, tragically, about the little boy, some of y'all may not agree with what I'm fixing to say, and that's okay. But while I say this, if it's possible, I'm going to ask you to be reading the lyrics of this song from Travis Scott. We in society speak on wanting a better society for our children and our grandchildren. But as parents and grandparents, are we doing right by them? What I'm meaning to say is What was this father thinking, having his nine-year-old at a concert like this, with the reputation that this concert artist has? The grandfather, the aunt, the other relatives spoke on this little nine-year-old's favorite rap artist is Travis Scott. Now, we can't control the music our kids listen to. I know my kids listen to things that I did not allow. But best believe that they did not listen to them around me. And in no way would I have been able to get on national television and say that certain artists were their favorite artists, especially at such a young age, even if it would have been true. How can we do right by our future generations? when this is the example that we're setting for parenting skills. The father himself could not even handle the concert. What on earth was he thinking taking his child there? 